Hey everybody, this is Herschel Froome from High School Top 200. Uh, just doing some more uh, game previews for this up and coming weekend. Uh, this one is going to be on number 14, Gisborne Boys High, playing Napier Boys. And this is going to be done in Napier. So um, uh, for me in this game, I'll be looking at uh, uh, Gisborne Boys uh, to see how they respond to uh, being thrashed last week. Um, uh, Sacred Heart is one of the best uh, in the country right now sitting at number three But at the same time you should be able to um, maybe bring those points down and also, you know, give a little bit back as well uh, They play this annually and so um, It's not like that unfamiliar with the team, but uh, you know, Gisborne's got to have to bounce back after that one They're still sitting good in, in 14 um, Napier boys on the other hand have had a really bad start to the season in um, the Hurricanes um, tournament uh, which is a hard tournament. It's not like an easy tournament to go through. It is really hard that you're playing, you know, top teams in the country week after week after week. And so um, uh, Napier's got to lift themselves up. And coming into the Super 15, um, it's going to get even worse in terms of uh, games because it's such a hard competition and the travel is all part of it as well on a weekly basis. Um I, I think um, Gisborne will take this one. It's not going to be uh, uh, a big gap of, in scoring, but it's. I think Gisborne's going to have to take this one and be maybe like a 12-point difference, something like that. Um, Tim has uh, Tim Farrell's going to have to uh, uh, lift up his uh, his team and and maybe rely on the better players and the bigger players like um, uh, you know Al Moibosia and. And, and even Mitch as well has got to maybe step up um, and and also help out help out um, Sullivan as a, as a young first five and maybe give him a bit more direction you know, Levy is there now coming over from Hastings boys and so you know him and Mitch maybe maybe have to get together and uh, maybe maybe guide the team around the back uh, you know the back line around the field a bit more and be a bit more proactive in, in terms of attacking the line and and, and giving Sullivan some uh, some time to make decisions with the ball, um, and Gisborne's just got to play their their own game and get back to it. And um, yeah, and, and they've got a lot of attacking options anyway, so I, I can't see why Gisborne boys can't get up on this one. So, uh, I think Gisborne boys by around twelve, but again, that will be down to my predictions on uh, tomorrow. So uh, keep an eye out for that, and um, that's my preview for this game and. Uh, Make sure you subscribe to this page and keep sharing this on uh, Facebook and let's get uh, more people involved and aware that uh, First of Dream Rugby is right at the top of its game. Peace.